Welcome back, Straight Talkers. From birth to the age of five, your child's brain will be developing more than any other period of their life. Today, I'm gonna to talk about how the brain can be rewired and how we can use this to our advantage to raise more well-rounded children. Your brain and nervous system are composed of cells called neurons, and the human brain has 100 billion neurons. And each of these connect to tens of thousands of other neurons through something called synapses. Neurons are basically our communication centers and are responsible for receiving and sending information. They allow for lightning fast communication among one another and are responsible for all sorts of brain functions. One neuron will communicate with another by releasing a chemical into the synapse, which is the space between the two neurons. And the next neuron will then absorb that chemical. And this process is known as neuronal firing. Donald Hebb is a psychologist who coined the phrase neurons that fire together, wire together. And what this means is that when we have a given experience, neurons will fire simultaneously in response to that experience. These neurons will form a network with one another and become connected. And when we have an experience that is repeated over and over again, those neurons continue to fire as a unit and the connections between them strengthen. As these pathways in the brain continue to be used, they begin to transmit their messages faster and faster and become stronger and stronger. And with enough repetition, they become automatic, almost like they're on autopilot. Therefore, we get the phrase, neurons that fire together, wire together. The process of the brain forming new connections and pathways, which then changes how its circuits are wired, is referred to as neuroplasticity. Our day-to-day -day experiences change the physical structure and the architecture of the brain. For example, animals who require sharp eyesight for hunting have visual areas of their brains that are larger than those who don't have sharper eyesight. The same goes for the auditory centers of the brain and animals who depend on their hearing. When looking at humans, a common example frequently discussed is how taxi drivers have an enlarged hippocampus, which is an important structure in the brain associated with spatial memory. What all of this essentially means is that we can rewire our brain based on the experiences we have in life and what we give our attention to. We aren't held hostage by the way our brain is currently working, and we can actively work to change our current architecture so that we can live happier, healthier, and more productive lives. This is true for children, teens, and adults. So how can we apply this to our children? As mentioned earlier, our children's brains are constantly under construction, wiring and rewiring with each experience they encounter. What they hear, see, taste, smell, and touch leads to neural connections being formed and affects how their brain develops. When our children are growing and developing, they're taking in all sorts of messages from the environment that they're in and from the people that they're around. They're answering questions such as, do my parents love me or am I unlovable? Is the world a safe or scary place? Can we trust those around us? Am I a good child? Do I deserve to be happy? Do I value academics? And the list goes on and on. As parents, our goal is to help facilitate our children's learning. There are times in their lives where learning new skills comes easier, and if we miss that window, trying to teach them these skills and abilities can be more difficult. Therefore, we wanna be mindful of this early on. Since we have the ability to guide our child and what they focus their attention on, it's crucial that we think about their everyday experiences. Where our child's attention goes, neurons will fire and wire together. What we focus on will strengthen those connections while the areas we neglect will weaken. Therefore, sports, music, outdoor activities, playing with friends, and educational activities will affect their brain differently than things such as watching television, playing video games, or creating videos for TikTok or Instagram. We should try to introduce experiences and focus their attention on things that lead to communication across the different parts of their brain so that those various areas can work together more harmoniously. This will allow our children to use their mental resources to their full capacity. What we offer them will directly shape the way their brains form and we can use everyday moments to ensure that they thrive socially, emotionally, and intellectually. Conquering these areas will allow children to have more secure relationships, better impulse control, good decision-making capabilities, improved emotion regulation, and strong problem-solving skills. I strongly encourage that you consider what values you want to prioritize and pass along to your children. Make sure to keep neuroplasticity in mind when you help guide your children in the activities that they participate in, the people that they hang out with, and the way you interact with them. 
how we communicate with them, discipline them, and relate to them are all shaping the way their brain is being formed and affects the way that they go about interacting in the world, as do the activities we enroll them in and the people we introduce them to. If you have any topics that you'd like to hear more about, put your ideas in the comments section. Otherwise, head on over to the next video to find out more ways that you can help your child live their best life.